Well, I'm going to begin reviewing some of the parts that I've just finished masking off, painting it, some extra detailed parts here and there that will make up the um, high grade arbalist. Some I am happy with, others I'm not, and in all due fairness there were some parts that I was like saying to myself, I don't think I can do this. And I'll explain it to you in a minute. Let's begin with this part right here, which I'm going to remove the masking. And I was using Titan's Blue 1, by the way, for the detailing work. So, let's remove this part, this part, that, this. Now I was gonna I got away with this, which is good. That came out nice. Um this part was the one that I was having a hard time to mask off because for whatever reason I couldn't make the tape small enough or at least sticky enough to stick onto the edges here for me to airbrush this part. I'm gonna try to use a marker if I can just to be, you know, my hands are not that steady. I'm going to try to be steady, maybe just do a little painting here and there, because I was going to paint this part yellow inside. I'm going to try, I'm going to hand, I'm going to try hand painting. I don't want to mess it up, so, you know, I may say yes, I may say no, who knows. This is a part of the bicep armor, Let's see how this came out. That came out okay. That's somewhat okay. But mind you, I am going to weather it, so this could work into my favor. Yeah, this part here. Somewhat came out okay. Hopefully the weathering works out there. This is the part of the of the noggin because I knew there was like a little thruster thing on, on the forehead. Uh, that one came out okay. Yeah. This is part of the side shoulders. This one's actually the back part of the leg. Yeah, that's good. Speaking of the leg, the only detail part that I saw here was on the side. That's good. This is the um, arm part. That's good. Yeah. So, Titan's Blue 2, Titan's Blue 1. Or is that the other way around? I don't know. Crotch part. That's good. Okay. 
the so this one was the one that I'm more worried about. I hope it came out right. Because there were so many notches all over the place that I had to put like ma thin masking tapes and bend it around. So I'm kind of like a little worried here. Let's see how this come, how it looks. That came out good. Uh, where's my... Yep, there it is. <clears throat> I didn't do the bottom. I just only wanted the, the, the edges. little guys is not as easy as you think I'm not gonna do the uh, I'm not gonna get the knife for this I should get out come on get out out see it's it's it looks good though You really got to be patient with this. And I'm in, I'm a very patiently impatient guy. Good. Look at that. That came out nice. Very nice. I'm not even going to do the other one now. I'll do that in a minute. But this one's the knee part. There you go. I can be here all night doing this, which I will be doing in a few moments. But first thing I'm going to do is get this part here. Oh, come on. Don't fall. will look but I am going to take this metallic blue marker trying to get out as much of the ink out of this as possible I don't know if this will work Okay, so apparently this guy is dry. It's one of my better um, metallic markers that I use for eyes and things like that. I'm um, going to have to see if I could maybe just shake it or something. I, I should have maybe another metallic blue or something that should be equivalent for me to paint the eyes. I was actually going to do it right now and show it to you, but then realized, oh crap, this thing is already dried. So give me a few moments to look, because I, I want to give it this bluish tone, color tone, and I'll, I'll find something to try it out. So give me a moment, and then we'll display the, stuff, the parts on the table and see how they overall look. All right. Here are all the parts that make up the high-grade arbalus. 
Um, everything is all, all here. Clearly, I want to put them all together, reviewing them, seeing how it looks. Um, yeah, pretty nice. I really like it. The whites, the blue, Titan Blue 1. No, sorry. Titans Blue 2, Titans Blue 1, the Air um, air Superiority Blue, the Yellow, and for whatever reason, um, I thought I had uh, another marker of uh, the metallic bluish, gray, bluish color, so I couldn't do it, so I ended up putting on green eyes. Yeah, and... and when you put the mask on and all that stuff, you can barely even see the face and all that stuff. So, it is what it is. I think, okay, that's fine. That should, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. But there you go. Here are all the parts on display. Ready to be put together. Now, I want to point out a few things. Um, I actually made an amazing goof. Which I'm... It was never recorded, unfortunately. It would have been fun if it was. While I was getting um, another, you know, um, refilling the reservoir using this paint, I accidentally tipped this and it fell on the floor, bounced off my right foot, and fell on the ground like this, upside down. You can imagine the paint going all over the place. I'm on the floor, on my sandal, on my foot, and pretty much I lost near I, I lost about maybe ninety percent of the paint in the bottle. There was still paint like like um, still stuck to the bottom, so I had a well first I had to spend a good portion of the day cleaning up the, all the mess um, using a lot of thinner. And just so you know, I don't have a, I don't have a rug. I have a hardwood floor, so it's technically easy but I still need to clean it up because it's still uh, paint residue white paint residue uh, just I didn't uh, the thinner that I have is a bio is a, a less hazardous thinner uh, but you really really need to work on it to remove all that paint from the floor so I was like ah oh, god damn it's gonna take me time I did the best I could and clearly I might have put something on the table in case something like this I mean I've never dropped paint in, actually, that's a, a complete and utter lie. I remember in the last place I used to live, I dropped a bottle of um, Eloquide paint, and that was it. that was fun, and interesting. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't fall on my foot, but still, a lot of cleanup right there. So yeah, that was a bit of a mess. But interestingly enough, while I was mixing it, and uh, the paint turned like a very, very um, it had like a hueish green color tone under the white. You can barely see it. I'm hoping that, you know, when, when I do the close-up, you'll see this. But yeah, um, I guess because of the anime color tone. Because it, it, you can almost see it there. I, I, I'm not worried about the fact that it's this different shade. Because I'm, I'm going to be weathering it soon. So that will definitely hide that. You can, probably won't be able to see it. So that's okay from there. Um, when I was making the uh, Zuda, I was using the Titans Blue 2 blue, but it was a little shiny, so I wanted to make it a little duller tone, and it didn't come out of my airbrush well. Oh, that and the fact that when the bottle dropped, also my airbrush fell, it damaged a uh, one of the nozzles. So now I have two damaged nozzles on two airbrushes. So thankfully I pulled the third airbrush and I was using that to continue on painting this kit. I had to order new nozzles now. The 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 third the, the second airbrush uh the nozzle is not that completely damaged because you could still airbrush but it it it, it gives that weird hissing sound and you know it's bad when you put your can I grab Yes I can. You know it's bad when you you know we are all accustomed to putting our fingers here and then pressing this down to do the mixture. I can actually feel the needle as I'm pressing my finger here, so I can 
you know, pretty much stab myself. That means that the uh, nozzle at the end, the, um, the little, I just remember this, see if you guys can see it. The little nozzle there, um, there's a cut and the needle is now put, put, uh, going forward. So it's not properly sealed. I, w I had a situation like that before. I purchased a new nozzle. Actually, I purchased two because I, now both airbrushes are, are giving me this problem. So, you know, it is what it is. Gotta be very careful with your airbrushes. I, I like to buy myself a nice, beautiful, professional airbrush like I've seen other people have. Um, this one's okay, you know, um, for now, you know, because the last thing I want to do is, is damage now a professional one, but use what you got. So, yeah, everything is now done. Um, I want to get this thing started to begin um, assembling it so you guys can see this. So, I'm going to just review, I'm going to review it again, take a look at every part, see what I missed, what I didn't miss. All that stuff. I mean, realize I just realized this part was not tr uh, detailed up here, but that's okay. I mean, I'm going to be pen aligning it, marking it, weathering it. Um, some parts broke from the shoulder, but that's an easy fix. That's an easy fix once I put that together. Um, just reviewing everything. Now, I'm not using the the effect parts that make that you know make that. Um, um, Alberless do some crazy stuff from the anime. I'm not doing that. I'm, I really don't care that. Um, so I'll just leave it the way it is for now. I was actually considering grabbing this because um, I, I I painted this all the way as you can see, but I'm thinking of maybe masking it all the way down here and then painting this a different metal tone. I'm thinking about it. I still have time. I got a lot of time. Okay. With that being said, let's begin final assembly of your high-grade arbalist.